13 Epsom salt uses in garden nettle amaze you. Those who use it swear that using Epsom salt on plants make them lush and healthier. Find out yourself, see these 13 Epsom salt uses in garden. However, there are many positive impacts of Epsom salt, magnesium sulfate, but its excessive use must be avoided. 1. To get sweeter fruits. Epsom salt to fruit trees. Apply Epsom salt 1 tablespoon per square foot of fruit trees and shrubs to boost chlorophyll levels inside plant cells, which means improved photosynthesis, stronger growth of the plant, sweeter fruits, and increase productivity. Fruit trees like citrus, apples, peaches, pomegranate, and plums perks up after application of Epsom salt. 2. To help plants absorb more nutrients. If you use Epsom salt as fertilizer, your plants will receive all of the required nutrients adequately. Why? The Epsom salt contains magnesium, a mineral that enhances the absorption of basic nutrients needed by plants in order to grow such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. 3. To avoid transplanting shock. Help plants to overcome transplant shocks when you plant them into a garden or change their pots, just add a tablespoon of Epsom salt to the soil, then once again add a layer of soil before placing the plant so that roots does not come in direct contact with the salt. 4. To have juiciest tomatoes and healthy tomato plants. Epsom salt on tomatoes. Tomatoes suffer from magnesium deficiency, especially when grown in pots. To resolve this, dissolve 2 tablespoons of Epsom salt in 1 gallon of water and apply this solution in every 2 weeks to your tomato plants. 5. Yellowing leaves. The leaves of plants and trees turn yellow due to magnesium deficiency as it is an essential component in the production of chlorophyll. To counter this, Add a tablespoon of Epsom salt around the base of your plant per 12 inches of its height, once a month until it starts to look green again. Also read, Plant Deficiency Symptoms and How to Identify Them. 6. Prevent Leaf Curling. Sometimes due to magnesium deficiency leaves may curl inward or upward. In such case, application of Epsom salt around the base of the plant helps a lot. Alternately, for quick absorption, you can also mix 2 tablespoons of Epsom salt in a gallon of water and spray directly on the foliage. 7. To increase the production of peppers. Give a boost to your pepper plants by adding 1 tablespoon of Epsom salt every week, especially at the time of flowering and fruiting to increase the production of peppers. 8. For better blooming roses. Epsom salt on rose. Adding Epsom salt helps in the production of chlorophyll, which favors the bushier growth of the roses. Also, its addition encourages more blooms. Feed rose bushes with Epsom salt at the time of planting and again at the first sign of new growth. Application of Epsom salt when the plant is flowering is also helpful. You can also soak bare root roses in water that contains dissolved Epsom salt before planting. 9. Get rid of weeds. If you want to get rid of weeds in your garden but don't want to use herbicides, use Epsom salt. Instead, mix 1 liter of vinegar with 2 tablespoons dish soap and 4 tablespoons of Epsom salts. Stir everything well and pour this into a spray bottle. Spray this solution on weeds. Make sure you don't spray this on other garden plants. 10. Lawn Fertilizer magnesium contained in Epsom salt is beneficial to the lawn. Sprinkle 5 cups of Epsom salts per 100 meters 2 of lawn, apply it with a spreader or spray it by diluting in water to get a lush green lawn. 11. Removing Tree Stumps Drill a few holes in the tree trunk and fill each hole with Epsom salt. Then pour the water into the holes. The trunk should begin to decompose within a few weeks. Find out more on this. 12. Care for Potted Plants Feeding Epsom Salt to Potted Plants Potted plants become magnesium deficient more quickly than plants grown on the ground. Therefore, add 2 tablespoons of Epsom Salt to 1 gallon of water and feed this solution once a month to your container plants. 
water until it starts to flow out from the bottom of the pot. 13. Healthy and beautiful shrubs and trees. Epsom salt can keep shrubs and trees healthy and in bloom. Work 1 tablespoon Epsom salt for shrubs and 2 tablespoons for trees in 9 square feet area around the root zone. Epsom salt used as a foliar spray or soil additive will help tomato and pepper plants grow and produce larger, tastier yields. Late in the season use an Epsom salt spray to increase tomato and pepper yield and keep plants green and bushy. Early in the season add Epsom salt to the soil to aid germination, early root and cell development, photosynthesis, plant growth, and to prevent blossom and rot. Epsom salt is not actually salt but a natural mineral compound of about 10% magnesium and about 13% sulfur, often referred to as magnesium sulfate. Epsom salt is highly soluble and easily taken in by plants when combined with water and sprayed on leaves. As a soil additive, Epsom salt becomes soluble with soil moisture and is drawn up into plants through the roots. A magnesium or sulfur deficiency in the soil can cause tomato and pepper plants to grow small and spindly, leaves to yellow between leaf veins late in the season, and fruit to be slow in maturing and ripening. How to apply Epsom salt to plants? Foliar spray during season. Add 2 tablespoons of Epsom salt to a gallon of water and use tank sprayer to apply the mix once a month substituting the spray for a regular watering. Use 1 tablespoon per gallon of water if you apply Epsom salt spray more often than once a month. Begin foliar spraying when blooms first appear. Sided dressing during season. Work 1 tablespoon of Epsom salt per foot of plant height around the base of each plant. Sided dress plants every 6 weeks beginning soon after leaves appear and continuing through the end harvest. Soil additive at planting time. Add 1 or 2 tablespoons of Epsom salt to the bottom of each hole before planting seeds or transplants. More useful information about magnesium and sulfur. Magnesium is critical for seed germination, production of chlorophyll, and fruit development. It helps strengthen cell walls and improves plant uptake of nitrogen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Sulfur is critical for the production of vitamins, amino acids and protein, and enzymes. Alkaline soils with a pH of 7 or greater and acidic soils high in calcium and potassium often have low levels of magnesium. Calcium and potassium compete with magnesium for uptake by plant roots. Magnesium can be blocked from plant uptake by calcium and potassium. Dolomitic lime which is used to raise the pH of acidic soils is rich in magnesium, 46% calcium carbonate, 38% magnesium carbonate. The soil additive Sulpo Mag, 22% sulfur, 22% potassium, 11% magnesium which is often added to alkaline soil should negate the need for Epsom salt. Beans, peas, lettuce, and spinach produce good yields in soil with a low magnesium level. A soil test will tell you if your soil is nutrient deficient. The Cooperative Extension Service in your area or a private soil testing laboratory can perform a soil analysis. Epsom salt is available at garden center and hardware stores as are most other soil additives. Epsom salt gets its name from the town of Epsom in Surrey, England where the bitter salt was first produced from a saline spring. How to fertilize plants with Epsom salts? Epsom salts are made up of a chemical salt called magnesium sulfate. As the name suggests, this compound contains both magnesium and sulfur which are two important elements in plant growth. Most often, Epsom salts are used in the garden as a natural source of magnesium, particularly for roses, tomatoes, and peppers, because these plants seem to benefit from an additional helping of this nutrient. The extra magnesium is believed to make the plants bushier and greener, with more blooms and abundant veggie yields. Unless your soil is deficient in magnesium or sulfur, Epsom salts are generally used as an extra boost applied to specific plants, rather than broadcast generally throughout the landscape. 
Here are some ways to use Epsom salts in the garden. When you plant your vegetables or roses, sprinkle about 1 tablespoon of Epsom salts into the planting hole. Mix 1 tablespoon of Epsom salts in a gallon of water, and apply to the root zone after planting. Reapply the liquid solution when your veggies are in bloom, and do it again when you see small vegetables starting to grow. Enthusiasts give Epsom salt credit for boosting everything from seed germination and chlorophyll production to nutrient uptake, but it's important to pay attention to your plant's needs without subscribing to miracle cures, particularly if you're thinking of widespread applications. Do a soil test before apply Epsom salt to lawns or large areas, to make sure it's needed. Summer veggies, such as tomatoes and peppers, indicate a magnesium deficiency with yellowing or curling leaves, or by producing less, or smaller, fruit. Epsom salt must share garden tip. The benefit is that it significantly speeds up plant growth, which in turn, increases nutrient uptake. Another positive effect is that it deters pests. It also increases the flavor of fruit and veggies, and improves the colors and quantity of roses. This also applies to other flowering plant blooms. Next time you are admiring beautiful roses, chances are that's their secret. Before using Epsom salts in your gardening, it is recommended that you test the soil for a soil pH reading. If you would like more fruit especially tomatoes, peppers and more blooming beautiful roses, Epsom salt should be added to your gardening routine.